Hey, my name is Doug Belshaw and I want to show you the new version of the Webmaker website, webmaker.org. When you go there, if you've been there before, you'll see um, new features that you may not have seen before. So on the front page, there's throw an event. July the 15th to the September the 15th is our Maker Party. It happens every year. Um, it's an event where we celebrate teaching, learning and making on the web. Anyone can throw one and you're very welcome to add yours to our list. If you go to the Explore section, you'll see um, lots of different things which will interest you, tools, resources, um, events, partnerships, all that kind of stuff. Everything that's on Webmaker, um, you can find a link to from there. You can also find a couple of upcoming badges that we've got. The Super Mentor badge is for our highest level of community contribution, and the Hive Community badge um, recognizes people who contribute to our Hive networks located in many cities around the world. The tool section um, takes you to the existing Webmaker tools. Another one will be joining that soon by the end of 2014. And the resources section is the one I want to take some time in explaining to you and showing you in a bit more detail. The thing which really excites me is a new version of the web literacy map. It looks a lot cleaner. And as you can see, when you hover over, it's got links to all the different sections. So each of these are competencies which c contain a collection of skills. Let's have a look at one of these. If I click on privacy, it takes you to a dedicated page for privacy um, and it explains what privacy is. It talks about the skills which underpin that particular competency and it allows you to submit resources which you think are relevant to privacy. It allows you to discover some of the things which are involved with the privacy competency, but also it allows you to, to make things, to show how you can uh, make things on the web around privacy, surveillance, online freedom, that kind of thing. Then finally, the highest level on here is teach, teaching other people how to um, reclaim their privacy on the web. Um, and as you can see, it's got a link to other related competencies at the bottom. So that's one example of the, the competencies of the web literacy map in the resources section, the new resources section of webmaker.org. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see a bit more detail about our global community. You can see how you can get involved. So for example, if you click on get training, it'll take you to our Webmaker training site. This has a, um, a series of weeks where you can explore, build, facilitate and connect. You can learn how to do those things. And if you click on the discussion link, you can find lots of people around the world who are interested in learning things. It's a very active forum, um, people from beginners through to experts helping each other out. And you can also get involved. You can explore the community gallery. You can get involved with making your own teaching resources. It's a jumping off point for you getting involved um, and being part of the community. There's lots of things to explore in the new version of the website. I'm going to leave it there. But if you've got any questions, you can ask um, anybody in the Teach the Web team. You can use the Teach the Web hashtag on Twitter or other social networks. Um, or you can just send a message to me at DAJ Belshaw. Thanks for listening.